بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکس ہائڈروسیٹک فورسز آن سب مرچ سروسز وی ہیو ڈرائیو فارمولاز فار ٹوٹل پریشر اینڈ سینٹر آف پریشر آن ویریس ٹائپس آف سب مرچ سروسز لائک ہاریزونٹلی سب مرچ ورٹیکلی سب مرچ کلائنٹ سب مرچ دین کرب سروسز وچ آر سب مرچ دین اینی فلوڈ سو ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول کنٹینیو دا ٹاپک اینڈ وی ول سالو ریلیٹڈ نمیریکلس So let's start with a first example. Uh, in this example, the figure shows a circular plate of diameter 1.2 meter placed vertically in water in such a way that the center of plate is 2.5 meter below the free surface of water. Determine total pressure on the plate and position of center of pressure. آپ کے سامنے فگر ہے یہاں پہ یہ سرکولر پلیٹ ہے اس کا آپ کو ڈایا منشن ہے کوششن میں 1.2 میٹر اور آپ کو یہاں پہ اس کوششن یہ سمپل سا کوششن ہے اس میں آپ کو یہ بھی کلیر کر دیا گیا ہے کہ سینٹر آف گریوٹی ٹوٹل ڈسنس جو ہے وہ 2.5 میٹر پہ ہے فرم فری ووٹر سرفیس اس بہت سمپل کوششن you just have to apply only the formulas and enter values and you will get the result So first of all, we will calculate the area of this uh, circular plate. Uh, uh, so area is pi by 4 d square and dia is 1.2 meter. So upon entering the uh, dia, we get area as 1.13 meter square. Now x bar is distance of uh, liquid surface uh, to center of gravity of the surface. under discussion so it is given in the question this is 2.5 meter so x bar is 2.5 meter right, and other uh, point is located which is c c is, uh, is located for center of pressure and the distance of center of pressure from v from free water surface is denoted as h bar and we have to find this h bar but first of all we will calculate total pressure uh, and uh, as i have Uh, told you that total pressure formula is P equals gamma A X bar where gamma is specific weight of fluid here water is used so we will use gamma of water which is 9.81 kilo newton per cubic meter A is area of this uh, plate which uh, we have calculated as 1.13 and X bar is this distance of free water surface up to the center of gravity of this plate which is 2.5 so upon entering these values we get total pressure as 27.7 kilo newtons now the next thing which you were asked uh, was to calculate a position of center of pressure uh, now uh, as we have studied the formula as we have learned the formula h bar equals ig over ax bar plus x bar here h bar is Uh, the distance from free water surface to the point of application of total pressure so h bar is equals to ig over ax bar plus x bar ig is moment of inertia about this about center of gravity a is area and x bar is again same thing which i have explained earlier so ig for circular plate moment of inertia is pi by 64 into d power 4 upon entering the values we get moment of inertia of this plate as 0.1018 meter 4 all other values are previously calculated so upon entering the remaining values in this formula we get h bar equals 2.536 meter so the center of pressure is 2.536 meter a little below from the center of gravity now let's solve an other example with an other shape uh, in this uh, question a triangular shape is used uh, question statement is an isosceles triangular plate of base 3 meter and altitude 3 meter is immersed vertically in an oil of specific gravity 0.8 the base of plate coincides with the free surface of oil determine total pressure on the plate and center of pressure 
this question is slightly uh, different from the previous one only in terms of the shape of this object and uh, the fluid used is here is not water it is oil so we will use respective values uh, first way first of all we will calculate the area of this isosceles triangle uh, all of you are familiar that area is calculated as b into h by 2 so uh, width of this triangular triangle is 3 meter and h is 3 meter as given in the question or uh, as mentioned here so upon entering the values we can calculate area as 4.5 meter square if this figure is not given then you can also draw the figure at your own by uh, reading this statement since uh, isosceles triangle so you can make an isosceles triangle then base uh, dimensions are given and altitude are given so you can easily draw this figure now uh, to calculate the total pressure we have to uh, know three things gamma a and x bar so gamma will be calculated as uh, uh, as we know that oil is given whose specific gravity is 0.8 and we can calculate specific weight of this oil by multiplying this specific gravity with specific weight of water area we have calculated the area here last thing is uh, x bar x bar is distance of center of gravity of this immersed object from the surface so this is a triangle and all of you are familiar that center of gravity of triangle lies at a distance of 1 one by 3 of h so h by 3 is equals to x bar value of h is 3 so upon computed computing we get x bar equals 1 meter now we will enter all these values in the formula and we will get uh, answer for total pressure on the plate formula is p equals gamma a x bar gamma is specific weight and this is obtained by multiplying the specific gravity of oil with specific weight of water area we have calculated uh, and it was 4.5 and x bar was 1 so upon computing we get total pressure as 35.3 kilo newton uh, second thing was to calculate center of pressure which is h bar and all of you are familiar that h bar equals ig over ax bar plus x bar uh, in this case for triangle moment of inertia uh, is bh cube by 36 so we will enter the values width is 3 meter h is also 3 meter as given in the question upon entering the values of other variables we will get center of pressure as 1.5 meter so center of gravity was 1 meter and center of pressure is 1.5 meter now let's solve an example related to uh, immersed uh, object which is immersed at an angle inclined submerged surface previously we have solved two examples which were vertically immersed in the fluid now we will solve the example which is submerged at some angle uh, first we will uh, read the statement then we will discuss this figure and then we will move towards the solution so the statement is a 1 meter wide and 1.5 meter deep rectangular plane surface lies in water in such a way that its plane makes an angle of 30 degree with the free water surface. Determine the total pressure and position of center of pressure when the upper edge is 0.75 meter below the free water surface. Now, what is the data kya given? A rectangular plane surface is width 1.5 and depth hai, uh, sorry, width 1 and depth hai, 1.5 meter. And the same thing is that it is water mein submerged and you have angle of inclination hai, 30 degrees. 
फाइंड आउट आपने करना है टोटल प्रेशर एंड पोजिशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर वेन अपर एज इज पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर बिलो द फ्री वाटर सर्फेस सो ये आपके पास एक रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सर्फेस है जिसकी वेथ वन पॉइंट वन मीटर एंड डेप्थ इसकी वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर है इसको अगर आप इसकी प्रोजेक्शन ड्रॉ करेंगे तो ये यहाँ पे मीट कर रहा है फ्री वाटर सर्फेस के साथ ये इस सर्फेस की प्रोजेक्शन ड्रॉ है और आपको बताया है ये जो टॉप सरफेस थी जो इसका अपर एज था ये वाला अपर एज ये वाटर से 0.75 मीटर्स नीचे है यहाँ पे आप देख रहे हैं हमने सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी को लोकेट कर लिया है जी और ये सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर को लोकेट कर लिया है हमने सी तो सी का जो डिस्टेंस है वो एक्स बार से डिनोट सॉरी जो G का डिस्टेंस है वो x बार से डिनोट होगा और C जो है वो h बार से उसको हम डिनोट करेंगे नो लेट्स मूव टू द सोल्यूशन वेथ ऑफ प्लेन सरफेस इज वन मीटर डेप्थ ऑफ प्लेन सरफेस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर इंक्लिनेशन इज थर्टी डिग्री एंड डिस्टेंस ऑफ अपर एज फ्रॉम फ्री वाटर सर्फेस इज पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मीटर दिस ऑल डाटा इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट Uh, now, in order to calculate total pressure P, we will use the formula P equals gamma a x bar. Whether the surface is horizontally immersed, vertically immersed, or it is an or it is immersed in uh, with some angle, uh, the formula for total pressure is same. It is gamma a x bar. A area of the plate is calculated by multiplying its two dimensions, 1.5 and 1. We will get 1.5 meter square. Now, uh, how we we can calculate x bar? X bar will be calculated by adding LU plus UM. This is LU and this is UM. So, uh, from the figure, you can see that that LU is equals to 0.75 meter as given in the question. Question में आपको कहा गया है कि upper edge 0.75 meter नीचे है, तो आपने ये अगर आप इसको ड्रॉ करें तो आप देख सकते हैं कि एल यू और एस एन सेम है तो ये आपके पास 0.75 आपने एंटर कर दिया नाउ यू एम कैसे कैलकुलेट करना है यू एम बाय सॉल्विंग दिस स्मॉल ट्रायंगल यू कैन कैलकुलेट यू एम द एंगल ऑफ इंक्लिनेशन इज गिवन 30 डिग्री यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ साइन 30 डिग्री You can calculate U M equals M N sine thirty. So L U की value थी point seven five. U M की value है M N sine thirty. ये values आप enter करेंगे और M N किसके equal है? ये M N क्योंकि center of gravity से h तक का distance है. तो M N जो है center of gravity rectangle का कहाँ होता है? Half होगा यहाँ से one point five का half. तो एम एन की वैल्यू है 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू ये वैल्यूज हमने एंटर कर दी एल यू की वैल्यू 0.75 सेवन फाइव यू एम की वैल्यू थी एम एन साइन थर्टी एम एन की वैल्यू है हाफ ऑफ 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव एंड साइन थर्टी का आंसर आ गया आपके पास 0.5 सो इस तरीके से आपने एक्स बार कैलकुलेट कर लिया विच इज 1.125 पॉइंट वन टू फाइव मीटर्स नाउ वी विल एंटर दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन वाटर यूज हो रहा है इसलिए गैमा ऑफ वाटर यूज किया 9.81 एरिया यहां से ले लिया 1.5 और एक्स बार की वैल्यू यहां से ले ली 1.125 सो टोटल प्रेशर इज 16.55 किलो न्यूटन नाउ द लास्ट थिंग व्हिच वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इज सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर व्हिच इज एच बार सो यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एच बार फॉर इनक्लाइंड सब सरफेस आई जी साइन थीटा और ए एक्स बार plus x bar and entering the value since it is a rectangular plate so all of you are familiar that for rectangle moment of inertia is bd cube over 12 here b is 1 and d is 1.5 so we, we will enter the respective values this is moment of inertia 1 into 1.5 cube divided by 12 which comes out to be 0.281 meter 4 And now we will enter all the values in this equation. H bar equals 0.281 into 0.5 square. What is 0.5? Sine 30 degree is 0.5. So 0.5 square divided by 
1.5 this is area into 1.125 this is x bar plus x bar this is 1.125 so answer is 1.166 meter so here you can also see that center of pressure is slightly below the center of gravity uh, which was 1.125 and center of pressure is 1.166